one thing. There's just one thing which is completely common in between you and me. And that is, we both were misguided a lot in our student life. And uh, why do I say that? Is because in our era, there was no information. And whatever limited information was there was not right. In your era, which is the YouTube, social media era, there are so many pundits out there that uh, they will tell you so many stories that ultimately you get confused, information overload, analysis paralysis, and then you think, well, there's no way forward. And that is where one day my mentor told me that take advice from a person who himself has updated his knowledge for that particular era. Okay. So um, given that at Biotechnica, we, we get plethora of information from various, you know, uh, agencies, whether it is WHO, UNESCO, UNICEF, and various uh, research agencies, like of course the biotech companies, which you saw in the previous iBio meeting, which was live streamed on Biotechnica's YouTube channel. If you if you look at all the information which we get, and then we filter through, and then we pass on the right information to all of you. So in this uh, direction, we are making this video today, talking about the importance of learning coding for a biology professional. Now, the reason you all should know this. Many people will say, hey, there's no future, no scope, let's quit. But where, where would you go? Hey, you have finished, you know, done your bachelor's, probably master's or PhD. So you're here to stay, right? You're here to grow in this field and that's the best option, right? You have two options to shut down and go home or to grow here. So the cho choice should be to grow here, right? So if you want to grow in the biology industry today, uh, what is the trend that we have to follow? And we have to follow those trends which are going to become the traditions of the future. And coding is one trend which merges the biological sciences and the information technology. And you know that bio IT is the fastest growing and emerging field in the biotech sector. You have companies like Accenture, Accelera, Wipro, Infosys hiring people in this particular domain. Why do you need to learn this? Because all the experiments which you conduct in a biology lab, whether it is a wet lab or dry lab, leads to data. This big data, we, we call it as a big data because there is huge amount of data, like petabytes of data which is generated in the biology industry. Now, coding for a biologist, if you know, it helps you efficiently analyze this data and interpret complex, complicated biological data. Because biological data is not as simple as the regular mathematical tables and Excel sheet. It is different. It is not, it is nature at the best. And it, if you really want to unlock valuable insights from this data, then obviously you need to learn coding for biologist. Now, the second thing which uh, industry wants and of course, academy also wants is automation, right? So if you could create aut automation on an autopilot, right? Or efficiency on autopilot. So uh, if you could re automate repetitive tasks through coding, you know, it will enable you as a researcher to save time and focus on more critical aspects in your research. And that is where automation and efficiency can be brought in by coding. Just to give you an example, today uh, we have developed a artificial intelligence at Biotechnica, which does pretty much all the jobs which we do on our website and app. So it's all automatic. So we could achieve this through obviously coding and of course biology. So now the third one would be integration of the multidisciplinary skills. So if we see, uh, we can combine biology. So earlier also I have said this, that you know, you are a biologist, but when you sit on the shoulders of IT, you grow faster, you can run faster because the IT industry is growing faster. So you can combine your knowledge of biology and learn coding, and then you can bridge this gap between the different science domains. And at the same time, you will have a different perspective. Let's give you an example. So a person who is from IT background, it'll take him years to learn biology, right? But a person who is from biology, Coding is simpler if taught by the right expert. So for example, uh, you know, coding should be taught to a biologist by a biologist. Okay. And that's something which uh, most of the students miss out. They think that, okay, I'll go into any programming, um, you know, course and they'll teach me. But see, they are from the IT background. They will not understand the applications of coding in biology, right? So you have to learn the applications of coding in biology and you have to ultimately use this for innovation, right? In your lab or, uh, you know, f while going for your job. So industry also will demand this. So coding skill will enable you as a biologist to develop new computational methods, new algorithms, which will lead to groundbreaking 
discoveries. So this is very, very important as a student, as a researcher, as a academic professional also, because you're going to train students probably in the future on coding. Now, if we have to uh, look at the applications of coding in biology, of course, the first thing comes up is bioinformatics. And under that, you have various hidden patterns of the genomics, proteomics and um, genetic research and personalized medicine, which can be unlocked through bioinformatics. So you need coding if you want to excel in bioinformatics. Then the second would be evolutionary biology. If you want to do some kind of research in evolutionary biology, you can utilize coding to analyze the vast genomic data which is available today. And uh, it will provide you insights into mechanisms which will drive the species adaptation. How exactly a species adapted and why did they adapt? So all that data can be analyzed using a computer and of course uh, coding. And the third will be neuroscience. If you have interest in neuroscience research or rare disease research, you can develop models, you can de develop simulations to understand the complex brain functions and unravel the mysteries of neurobiology. So these are the three direct applications of coding. Now, another very important aspect which I am seeing, another very inter interesting thing is, uh, whether it is pharmacovigilance or whether it is uh, regulatory affairs, whether it is uh, um, everywhere they are applying AI, and ML, that is artificial intelligence and machine learning. And if you want to get into AI ML, then you need to learn coding. The challenges which you will face as a biologist is the language barrier because see, you are used to the biological language, biological data, but suddenly somebody says print command, print this and you know, output input, you will be a little confused. And that is where we have a set of teachers who will train you, they are themselves biologists and they have been trained under the best of the IT professionals and they will train you for uh, this particular coding. The second thing which I see with the students also and uh, working professionals, professors, in fact, this time the coding for a biologist uh, course which we are conducting, there are two frequent questions I'm getting. The first is, if I don't have any basics of uh, these courses, can I still pursue? The answer is yes. The second thing they are saying is, sir, I don't have time, right? The best thing you should know is the best day to get started is today. You know, time is just a sequence, you know, the way we change our sequences in our day, we can always make time for ourselves. So you think about it, 20 years from today, everything will be coded, everything will be based, in fact, today also, everything is IT. So why not use IT into bi biotechnology, biology, and grow faster in your career. So I think uh, time constant is just an excuse, let's not give that, instead, just let's figure out how can we you know, uh, learn coding for biologist. And this course is going to take care of basics to the latest. And you have an amazing scientist, um, Dr. Nilofer. She is a PhD from MIT and she is going to train you on this coding for biologists. And then of course, uh, we are going to create an online forum where you will be able to discuss with the teacher what all problems you are facing during when you are coding and you, you will get immediate replies also. That's one thing which we are doing in the coding for biologists. So now the best resource which we are going to give you is the online platform Biotechnica which is starting this course from uh, 22nd of uh, November. And the programming languages which we will teach you is uh, BioPython, Python, R and various other uh, languages. More details is given in the description. Please check the link below. And then of course we will train you on biological data sets. We will uh, you know train you on GenBank, PDB and we will give you hands-on coding skills and that will be very handy. And this, with this, we come to the last part of this video where I'm going to tell you case studies now. So uh, I'm going to tell you stories of three professors. One professor is Dr. Jane Martinez. So Jane, uh, Dr. Jane has implemented data analysis algorithm that has led to a discovery of a novel cancer biomarker. So you can see that she applied uh, coding into novel cancer biomarker. The second one is Dr. Michael Chen and he has developed an algorithm to predict protein structures contributing to advancement in drug design. So again, he has applied coding to predict protein structures. The third one is Dr. Laura Johnson and uh, she has integrated coding skills with field work, okay, so uh, creating sophisticated ecological models with real time data. I'm sure you must have seen uh, Jurassic Park or uh, the latest one or various such movies. So when you see they are going, you, what, you, what is the science fiction of today is going to be the future biology of tomorrow. And that's exactly happening in front of us, right? So you can see cancer bio, biomarkers discovery, you can see sam automatic uh, sample collection or ecological models with real time data or advancement in drug design. All this is happening by real biologists who are a pro in 
computers. In fact, you should know this, that if you have a coding skill and you, when you go to a lab and say that I have this, they will immediately take you, whether you are a master student, bachelor student or PhD student. And the best part of this is Biotechnica is going to have the coding for biologist training course. And um, this particular course is uh, custom, uh, customized and tailor made for all the biologists by a biologist. So it's not that we will come and talk some, you know, complicated languages and you will not understand. So we will talk exactly English, plain English will train you on Python, R, BioPython, CADD, Biological Data Analysis. And uh, sorry, it is not from 22nd, it's 20th of November. And every day we will train you for one hour and then there will be assignments which you will conduct, you know, complete and come back next day and ask questions, what uh, problems you face, what challenges you face. And we're going to also train you on computer aided drug design and that's a very highly demanded skill set. And so that means uh, it is covering pretty much everything. And um, if you have more questions about it, let me know in the comment section. And remember, coding for a biologist is a must. Don't get misguided. Instead, grow in this field. You know, you know, you have to become the lotus among all the, you know, key challenges around. Just focus on your career. You have nothing else to look at. You're going to grow. All the best. Keep shining. Bye-bye.